Oh my gosh, no! No, she's burning! No! Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims for Vampires. In the last episode, we got Ivy a boyfriend. Oh, I heard you and Brad started dating from Lilith. Uh oh, she's a bit thirsty, I guess. Well, yes, we got her to date Brad, the neighbor, and it's very exciting. They're both really cute together. And we have Belle writing some books. We're trying to make some money because we're pretty poor right now. We only have 2,000 simoleons. I think we started off with like 20,000 simoleons. So I don't know where the money has gone, but it has. I'm blaming the fact that Caleb loves to spend money every so often. If he doesn't have a new item in the house, he gets really mad. We should probably go ahead and do this for Belle. She needs to defeat three vampires in combat. So I don't know if she's gonna be able to do that actually because I know she's a very good vampire, but is she able to do that? Hmm, who knows? We're gathering our club over, the club vampires, so we could try and fight them. Hopefully we can. Oh, and I'm also gonna change Ivy's bed into a double bed because she is too big now. She's too big for this tiny bed. Okay, so I got her a nice, cute double bed. It is amazing. I love this bed so much. The design of it is just gorgeous. And then I added on some nail polishes and some perfumes and a backpack. So this is like a real teenager's bedroom, am I right? Okay, we need to try and fight against some vampires. So let's go ahead and wake up these sims because we need to fight them. I don't know how we fight them. Oh, the Empiric Spa, that's what we need. Hopefully we can win. Seeing as though these are mostly our vampire children, we should be able to win this. We can't fight anywhere because the house is too small. What are we meant to do? Ugh, Donald Trump sleeping in this bed, ugh. I guess we'll wait for the night time until we have some vampiric spas. Otherwise, it's just going to be people annoying us walking around our house. Ooh, Brad's here. Let's invite him in. Aww, they're so cute together. I don't know why he's so angry though. Let's try okay. calm him down. Oh, we should totally take a photo with him. I haven't done that yet. Take a photo with Brad. Selfie time. Oh, look at them. Adorable. I don't know why he's so close to the camera though. Try a different one too. Ah, I like this one much better. Awesome. So let's have a look at how they turned out and let's put them on the wall in our room above our desk. Okay, this one is incredibly blurred. Let's sell that. But the rest of them are cute. Ivy is incredibly hungry. I feel like it's time to ask Brad if we could feed from him. I don't know where he is though. Did he go home? Why is he in our parents' bed? <laughs> What's going on? We need to tell him we're a vampire, okay? And we need to suck your blood. Let's ask permission. Hopefully he says that we can drink from him. That would be the best thing a boyfriend could do. Is he okay with that? Sure, Ivy, I offer you my wrist. Yes, Brad. Oh, this is perfect. We're a minor vampire as well, which is great. Oh, wow, we are taking a lot of plasma from this sim. It didn't even fill us up that much. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not entirely sure why they're sleeping in Ivy's parents' bedroom, but I guess it doesn't get used that much anyway. <laughs> Caleb needs to practice programming and Belle should invite everybody over so that we can spa everyone. So let's have a look if anyone turns up. Finally, we're finally getting to do it. Yes, this is great. Oh wow, did we win? I think we did it. Oh yay, well done Belle. Now we need to do it two more times. So let's get Donald Trump to come outside. Oh, we're doing one with Donald Trump. We should win this one. If we don't, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Yay, I think we won. Good job, Belle. And then we just have one more person to do it with. How about Alessandro? This should be our final one. Ooh, can we do it? We're much stronger than him, surely we can. Oh no, no, he fed us. How did he do that? How did he become a better vampire than us? I'm shook right now. Uh oh, it's Lucifer. Maybe we could do a spa with him. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Wait, we're winning. This is good, right? Well, I think we're winning at least. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we are. we're doing pretty good. <laughs> 
<laughs> he doesn't really know what he's doing, does he? Yay! We did it! Awesome! Belle Lawson is finally a Grand Master Vampire. She is one of the most powerful vampires in the land, but the power doesn't stop there, so keep earning vampire experience. A Grand Master Vampire can continue learning vampire powers without having to take any new weaknesses. Yay, that's awesome. I'm so proud of her. So what do we have to do now? Oh, read the ultimate vampire tome and survive an additional 20 days as a vampire that's pretty easy to do but we just need to find this vampire tome where are we gonna find this maybe online do we have to buy it so we're gonna have to get edward a skill in something what is he good at good at talking so let's just go and talk to our sister and then he is done oh yeah he's done it awesome what does ivy need to do he just needs to do her homework okay that's not too hard to do is brad still here or did he leave I think he may have left. Why is Donald Trump at our door? That's really creepy. So what's really interesting is our friend Brooklyn. We haven't seen her in a while. We don't know what's been going on, but she's apparently married now to Vladia Stroud. So what I wanna do is take a family trip over to their house and we can go visit because we haven't been to see them. So I guess it's a good time to do that. Family trip to a scary vampire's house. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's this way. Oh, let's go. Here we are. Let's go knock on the door. Not seen Brooklyn in a while now. And we, I think we're not best friends anymore, but we're still pretty good friends. Yeah, we're just good friends. Oh, his house is so cool. Take a look at this place. Wow, I love it here. Caleb's actually known Stroud for a very, very long time. And when I say long time, I mean years. Well, he's known of him. He doesn't actually know him, but he knows of him because Vladius is a very, very famous vampire who likes to wear bunny slippers, apparently. But yes, it's going to be an honor for Caleb to finally get to meet him. Ooh, it'd be cool to see who's the better vampire, Caleb or Stroud. So we're going to do a vampiric spa and we're going to see how that goes. Oh my gosh, we got some uh, creepy organ music on the background there. Oh, she's stopped. Is she just watching this instead? Oh, who's going to win? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. I honestly don't know who's going to win this fight. <gasps> Caleb won! I am so shook right now. I didn't think Caleb would be able to do that, but he did. Wow. Well done, Caleb. I honestly didn't think that you were capable of beating this old guy. I thought he was like a grandmaster vampire or something. So the question is, where's Brooklyn? We've come to visit her and I don't know where she is. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, there she is. In this really, really weird bedroom. Let's go get Belle to wake her up. I don't know what the kids are doing. Why is Ivy out here? That's really strange. And where is Edward? Edward's out here too. What are they doing? They must have got bored of the old vampire's house. This house is really cool though. How could you get bored of this place? We're here, Brooklyn. Wake up. Oh, wait, where, where, where did she go? She turned into a bat and disappeared. Oh, she's down here. Oh, it looks like Brooklyn has a bun in the oven. Oh, I'm very excited to see what the baby looks like. It's gonna look really creepy with this guy's nose. It's a good job that Brooklyn is a cute looking Sim. Why are you just out here walking, Edward? On your own, looking really sad. You can go home if you want. You don't have to stay here. Meanwhile, Ivy's having the time of her life playing chess out here on her own. I don't get why this house is honestly so cool i'd love to live here with our sims but we can't afford it we've got a smaller version of this i guess it's just got so many bedrooms it's so cool in here so much space look at this cool little office up here honestly i'm loving it and it even has a creepy old basement with a load of coffins in it but yes, it's been nice catching up with Brooklyn. Really can't wait to see what the baby looks like. But I feel like we should all go home now. Belle, seriously, I just found out about this concert. An underground abandoned warehouse in the fashion district. We have to go. Oh, we should totally go to that. Yes. I think it said at 10. I don't know if that meant 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Honestly, not sure. I guess we'll wait and see. The charity is appreciative for the sizable donation and thanks Ivy on their donor newsletter. Did she just donate some money? We don't have money to be donating, girl. What the heck? What is going on here? <laughs> this is really weird. 
Hey, you've got pretty good taste. Will you come to the flea market and help me shop for something? No. Apparently, these two sims can mess around in the coffin. I don't know what that means. I think it does basically means woohoo, but in the coffin. <laughs> it does mean that. Oh wow, it's really banging against that wall. I would love to go and check out the new town, but half of our family can. So it looks like we're just gonna take Caleb on his own. Maybe we should invite our sister, seeing as we haven't seen her in a while. Oh no, I didn't realize Lilith could burn. Oh, that sucks. She's probably gonna set on fire. <laughs> this is really bad. This is really bad. I, I don't want her to die. I don't think there's anywhere under protection. <laughs> That we can go to be honest getting a selfie while my sister's burning to death casual we're at the karaoke bar surely this is a better place for her is she just running away girl where are you going what the heck what are you doing oh my gosh no no she's burning no oh no what what's happened she didn't listen to me she just stood there and let this happen grim Please spare her. She's just being an idiot. Please. Caleb, you demand death. We're meant to be friends with death. Surely. Surely you should help us. Oh, Lilith has been brought back to life. Caleb's impassionate pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. There's no need to cry, Scarlet. It's okay. Oh no, this poor guy's crying too. Fine. Come on, this best work. What's going on? Bring her back to life. Yay! We saved her! Thank you so much, Grim. Wow, that was a close call. Okay, we're doing a little bit of karaoke now. Well, we're watching our sister sing. She just died, but she's back. It's all okay. She's honestly so bad at singing. Maybe we should have left her dead. <laughs> this girl's having the time of her life. Look at her go. Caleb is loving it, yes! Well, nobody's looking in this room, Caleb's just gonna suck this woman's blood. Oh no! <laughs> Because we drink, this is going to be reset for another 12 days. No. Today has just been a disaster, guys. A complete disaster. What is the Grim Reaper doing? What? I'm honestly so confused. What's going on? But this is cute. Ooh, we can toss a coin. Yay. Toss another one. Look how excited he is. It's karaoke contest night at the karaoke bar. Sims can test their silky singing skills by selecting sing in the karaoke. The winner will be announced at 11 p.m. So make sure to sing before then. Oh, we gotta do this. We gotta enter Caleb. Caleb won't sing because he feels too tense. No, we're not gonna be able to enter the contest. We didn't even get to enter the contest. This is the worst thing ever. Akira Kibo won. Ugh. Maybe next time we'll actually be able to do this. Back again at home. Wow, that was a fail last night. I'm glad everybody else is in a good mood though. So guys, I think this is where I'm going to end today's episode of The Sims Fall Vampires. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below of what I should do in the future episodes. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.